In today's video, I'm going to go through and show you how to unstake your Theta. Um, as you can see, we've been building out a lot of content and a place to stake your Theta and T Fuel because uh, Gpool kind of just left the T Fuel side of things. Um, and we went with a company called Theta Communications. But someone was asking, hey, when are you going to do how to unstake Theta? Well, I have an old video and it's kind of out of date. So we're going to redo it and get this posted up. So what you're going to want to do is visit thetatoken.org with, of course, your Ledger hardware wallet, the web wallet, select hardware and either Treasure or Ledger. And I use a Ledger. And we're going to press connect. Now make sure that you have your ledger plugged in. You have the Ethereum app, even though this is not the Ethereum blockchain, but how they decide to do it early um, is to have it on the Ethereum app. So open your Ethereum app, make sure your pin's in, push connect, and it will bring up the wallets that hold your coins. So the first thing we'll do is select this particular one. And you'll see that earlier, um, 12 days ago, I guess, when I made the video on how to stake with the new um, interface, I added 8,600. So what I need to do is unstake that and uh, go from there. So what we're gonna do is when you're in your wallet, you wanna make sure you have some T fuel here because if you don't have T fuel, you will not be able to pay for the fees. So make sure you have some T-Fuel. Then up here under stakes, click stakes. Then instead of deposit stakes, we're gonna do withdraw stake. So um, when you click withdraw, I'm gonna show you why you're gonna need this holder address. Oh, you might as well grab it right now. Um, when you withdraw, you will need the holder address because you're going to tell this wallet what you're going to unstake. Are you going to unstake your Theta, um, your T Fuel? You could have multiple uh, T Fuel stakes and they just need to know which one are you going to unstake. So we will do withdraw and not the Guardian node. If you want to unstake your Theta, then you would check the Guardian or you would select the Guardian node, but we're going to do edge node and we're going to click paste. That's the holder address. We're going to click next and then you needed that, you know, 0.3 T fuel. We're going to press confirm. Then I'm going over to my ledger, review transaction. You need to have blind signing on for now and Hopefully, uh, Theta will get clear signing done before the, I think, June 24th deadline. They will. And then accept and send. And we're just going to wait for it to send this onto the blockchain. And then you'll notice that, as stated earlier, well, we'll go over here uh, and we'll go back to this video. And you'll see that there is, where is it? Right here, 72 hours that you need to um, wait until you can get your Theta or T-Fuel. So you'll notice, we'll come here, we'll go back to stakes. And now withdrawn, it's going to say yes. If I wanted to unstake my Theta, I would do the same thing. I would take this, I would do copy, I would do withdraw stake. I would keep the guardian node there. I'll paste the address. Then I would go next. And then I would click confirm. But I don't want to unstake the theta that's on this particular uh, wallet. So I'm going to say reject. We're going to go back. And in 72 hours, I will have more T-Fuel here. And that's kind of it. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great evening.